any miracle you need. Tonight is a night of miracle. Miracle of salvation. Miracle of healing. Miracle of deliverance. It will not pass you by. Are you there tonight? What are you? Raise up your hand. Miracle has come. Father, we thank you for this hour. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your power. We thank you because we know you are present here. And we know that what you did in days gone by, you are going to do today. Because you are that same God, you have not changed. And Lord Jesus will come in your name. For. We come with the anointing that breaks every you. And we know you are the same. Yesterday. And today. And forever. And I'm asking you, Lord, tonight. You will come down mightily here tonight in Jesus. Name. Touch everyone tonight. Transform every life tonight. All those mountains that are there. Roll everything away. We we'll give glory to your name. We know it's going to happen. Everyone is going to receive. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Let Calabas shout Amen. God bless you. You can sit down. Wonderful to be in the presence of God. And we're expectant as we are in the presence of the Lord. Because time is power time. Because time is a miracle time. And crusade time is when mountains your life will be rolled away. And tonight is your night. He will bless you. And yet you don't feel. He will bless your family. He will bless your local church. And everything that ought not to be there, the Lord will remove it tonight in Jesus' name. Wonders in your life. Miracles in your life. And the manifestation of power in your life tonight in Jesus' name. We will be talking to you and will be ministering on the wonders of his power. That's the wonders of the power of God. The one that is mighty and powerful enough to create the whole universe. That one is here tonight. And the one that did miracles in days gone by. It's right there by your side. And it's ready to do something great. Something wonderful. Something unforgettable. And tonight is your night. Let me hear your amen. I'm reading a, a scripture to you. It's in Acts of the Apostles chapter 2. And it's in verse 22. Acts of the Apostles chapter 2. Looking at verse 22. It says, Ye men of Israel, Israel. hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus of Nazareth. A man approved of God among you by miracles and wonders and signs which God did by him in the midst of you. As ye yourselves also know. Here the apostle is introducing the Lord Jesus Christ to the people. And he said, ye men of Israel. Now we are not in Israel. Here we are in, uh, in your state. And I'm 
I'm talking to you tonight, the men and women and children of the state. There's somebody here tonight I'm talking about. His name is Jesus. Jesus is Savior. Jesus is healer. Jesus, and Jesus is deliverer. Jesus, and Jesus is a miracle worker. Jesus and His name is wonderful. Because everything about him is wonder. The wonder of his salvation. The wonder of his healing. The wonder of his deliverance. And tonight, you will see that wonder. You will experience that wonder. Because he comes to your life tonight. And he comes to perform wonderful things in your life. It will happen to you. Say, it will happen to me. It says, ye men of the land, women of the land, children of the land, he says, hear these words. We have to hear the words before we know what we can expect. Hear these words. The words you are hearing, they come from heaven and they pass through the preacher and it comes to your life directly. So you must make attempt to hear. You will not allow anything around you to block the word, word of God away from you because it is as you hear. It is as you understand. And it is as you hold it yourself. As you accept it. As you believe it. As you internalize it. And you say that is for me. It will work wonders in your life. But ye men of the land, ye people of God, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus, Nazareth. Not another Jesus. It's the one that you have heard about. Born of a virgin. He lived a spotless life. He lived a righteous life. He lived a perfect life. That same Jesus. But Jesus sorrow. Approved of God. Approved of God. Everywhere he went, there was an affirmation from heaven. Everywhere he went, there was a confirmation from heaven. A man approved of God. How was he approved? As he went to all the cities of Israel. How was he approved? As they went to every village and every town, every city, a man approved of God. How would he be approved tonight? Because the same God approved, that approved the Lord Jesus Christ, that same God is here tonight. That same power that brought the approval, that same power is here tonight. A man approved of God. Among you, go to Mufo tonight. Among you, go to Mufo tonight. Something will happen over there. Because there's going to be a confirmation. There's going to be an approval from heaven. A confirmation and assurance from heaven. A man approved of God by signs, by miracles. He said, the approval of God on Jesus that he sent him, that he appointed him, that he anointed him, and that he is the source of all the blessings of your life. He says, that approval is by miracle. Number two, by wonders. Number three, by signs. Which God did. God of action. Which God did. God of power. Which God did. God of all possibilities. Which God did. He did 
he dwells he will continue to do tonight he will do something there I have you in the house tonight I said tonight he will do something there which he did by him in the midst of you all in our midst tonight Jesus will act mighty Jesus, enemy, come In a mist tonight, Jesus, Jesus will walk wonders. Jesus, enemy, come Those blind eyes will open. Many nanado, aye, kurusong. Those weak legs will receive strength. Mukolo do ma kemen, aye, ba do do. Something great. Mukoko kunde. Something glorious. Mukoko yene rubang. Will happen to you tonight. Aye, tapa no fi okono yomi. It says, as you yourselves also know. Bante mu fe fi okde. You will know it tonight. Afo yen di ongo ke kono yomi. You will see it tonight. Afo yen kutko kono yomi. You will receive it tonight. Afo yen da yene kono yomi. Tonight, I'm talking to you on the wonders. Of God's power today. The wonders of God's power today. Not in the past. Not in ages gone by. Not in the days of old. But today, at that very point where you are, power will come to your side there. Power will touch your light there. And then you will taste. And then you will have. And then you will experience the wonders of God's power even today somebody shout amen. amen there are three things I'm looking at number one is provision of salvation for your soul that's where he begins to manifest his power his provision of salvation for your soul your soul needs salvation salvation is forgiveness of sin salvation is redemption from, redemption from slavery salvation is eternal life salvation is reconciliation with God. Salvation is coming, becoming a member of the family of God. Your soul needs salvation. It's provision of salvation for your soul. Number two is power of healing every sickness. He has power. Somebody help me shout power. Power. He has Jesus. power. Power. And tonight, okay, he'll manifest that power in your body in Jesus' name. It's power to heal. It's power to recover you. It's power to kill. It's power to remove every sickness. That painful sickness tonight will go. That infirmity in your body tonight will go. And that see you take it to medical people and they say maybe you have to come back and come back and come back that thing is going tonight incurable disease will vanish away long term disease will vanish away all those mountains of sickness everything tonight will be removed in Jesus name his power of healing for every sickness. Number three, the prayer of deliverance from evil spirits. The prayer of deliverance from evil spirits. The yokes are broken tonight. I said the yokes are broken tonight. Every mountain removed tonight. Are those evil spirits tormenting your life? Troubling your life? Tonight, there is deliverance. It will happen. 
To who? I say, why is the miracle coming tonight? Why is salvation coming tonight? Why is healing coming tonight? Why is deliverance coming tonight? It's coming your way. It will not pass your by. It will not miss you. You will not miss it. Tonight I receive. Say it for yourself. Say it for yourself. Tonight to receive in Jesus' name. Number one is provision of salvation for your soul. Christ is the Savior. Christ the angel said so. Christ the Savior. Christ the whole city of Samaria said so. Christ the Savior. The testimony of Scripture says so. Christ the Savior. The whole the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. It comes to save you tonight. It comes to save you tonight. That salvation will not pass your by. Why do we need salvation? Because the Bible says all have seen and come short of the glory of God. All without exception. All everybody everywhere. All have seen and come short of the glory of God. And because you have seen it says the soul that sinners it shall die. So death Warrant, death, judgment, death, punishment, death, eternal is hanging on your neck. Idiom, po, Adam, body, Adam, somebody, Adam, but Eddie. But thank God you don't have to die in sin. Because there is somebody who has paid the penalty for your sin. Somebody who came to say. That's why he came. That's why he suffered. That's why he suffered on the cross of Calvary. That's why he said it is finished. And we're told in Acts of the Apostles chapter 4. Four. Reading there in verse 12, it says, Neither is there salvation in any other. You see, there's no other name on earth. There's no other name beyond the sea. There's no other name across this country. There's no other name in your village. There's no other name in your city. Where we can have salvation. There's no church that can save you. There's no religion that can save you. There's no religion that can save you. And there's no ceremony that can save you. Money cannot give you eternal life. Money can buy things that are temporal. Things that are short-lived. Things that we use and finish here on earth. But we are talking about the ticket to get to heaven. When we are talking about eternal life. And we're talking about the chance of crossing over and being in heaven forever and ever and ever. Money cannot do that. No, no matter who you know. No matter where you live. No matter where you worship. No matter you try to deny yourself. All that cannot give you salvation. Says, neither is there salvation in any other. Neither is there salvation in any ceremony. In any ritual. It says in that verse. For there is none other name. Think about the, the names you have heard. And then sometimes we go to a place of worship. And the people there, they begin to mention the name of this angel and that angel. 
There's no other name, no angel's name can say. Sometimes they mention the name of the founder of our church. There is no founder of any church that can say. Sometimes they mention the name of other people, those who have gone far away at an old ancient time. But you know, all those names cannot say there is just one name. I said there is just one name. I said there is just one name. And that is the name of Jesus. Tonight he is your savior. I said tonight he is your savior. I can't hear my people. I said tonight he is your savior. You turn away from your sin. You turn to Christ as your savior. Tonight that salvation will be yours. Somebody say amen. Amen. Lord, amen. Number one, Aka, salvation. Number two, healing. Healing for every sickness. It's power for the healing of every sickness. Tonight, healing. I said tonight, healing. The wonder of his healing power. Healing is coming your way tonight. Somebody help me shout the word healing. Say it aloud. You receive it tonight. Can I remind you? Can I remind you that Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, from the moment he came to the public and he saw the people that were sick and he saw the people that were oppressed and he saw the blind and he saw the lame and he saw the lepers and he saw the people with issue of blood and he saw the people that were suffering Suffering from incurable disease. The very moment he appeared in the public, you know what he did? He healed all that was sick. And the Bible makes us to know tonight that, that Jesus has not changed. The same Jesus of Nazareth. That Jesus has not changed. Is there tonight? And he said, where two or three are gathered in my name. There I am in the midst of them. There I am in the midst of them. Christ is there tonight. Jesus, is by your side right there. If you are blind, it's by your side right there. If you are lame, it's by your side right there. If you are sick with an incurable disease, it's by your side right there. Christ is here tonight. Christ, mommy, go call you me. He will heal you. And yeah, your cock feet. Say he will heal me. No, then yeah, your cock me. I can't hear you. Young coffee. And yeah, your cock me. Say that again. And yeah, your cock me. Are you sure? Do you know? Demet you all. It will come your way. Acts of the Apostles chapter 10 verse 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and is going about tonight is coming to your side tonight he went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. God was with him. He went about. And since the word of God says that Jesus has not changed, he's still going about. You will feel his touch tonight. You will see his miracle tonight. You will know the power tonight. Because that same Jesus of Nazareth. 
Israel came Jesus the one that died for you the one that was buried and he took your sin and the load of your sin and the consequences of your sin he took that to the grave and buried everything there and then on the third day he rose again that same Jesus tonight He'll get to your place there. He'll get to your side there. Can I hear your amen? Amen. I said Jesus is there by your side. No, Jesus more than That same Jesus. Who came Jesus sorrow? That mighty Jesus. I come by Jesus sorrow. That healing Jesus. Jesus sorrow, cock there. That one that was miracle everywhere he goes. And you don't get him to turn back. Go back, baby. That Jesus is there by your side. Jesus sorrow more than can come for. And tonight, mountains of sicknesses will vanish away. Oh, don't bother your water. Blindness will vanish away. None, your water. Infirmity will vanish away. Paralysis will vanish away. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. With the Holy Ghost. And with power. With the Holy Ghost and with power. The Father remains the same. The Son remains the same. The Holy Ghost remains the same. And because God remains the same, the power remains the same today. And then it says, He went about doing good, healing all. All that were oppressed of the devil. But God was with him. tonight is taken away. Every power of evil is taken away. Every yoke upon your life. Everything that binds you. Everything is taken away tonight. Thank God you are healed. I say thank God you are healed. Thank God he sets you free. The power of healing for every sickness. Number one, the provision of salvation. It is yours tonight. Number two, the power of healing. It is yours tonight. Number three, the prayer of deliverance from every evil spirit. The prayer of deliverance from every evil spirit. You know, there are people they may not understand. As there are good people, there are bad people. As there are good spirits, there are bad spirits. Bad people are wicked. Bad spirits are wicked. Bad people destroy. Bad spirits destroy. Evil spirits destroy people's lives. They destroy families. They destroy businesses. They destroy the health. They destroy the strength. Evil spirits destroy and they torment people. But people can aim at somebody's head. But spirits can aim at somebody's head. And he turns the head. And becomes mental. Becomes a lunatic. And and the the insane. That's the work of bad spirits. Evil spirits. Evil spirits. Sometimes the evil spirit can touch any part of the body. And then what was working before cannot work anymore. What was active before cannot be active anymore. But tonight, I say tonight, there is deliverance from every evil spirit. Any tormenting spirit, all those powers of darkness, when this word of prayer comes, when this word of pronouncement comes, you're going to be totally delivered tonight. Yokes will be broken.
Causes your life will be taken away. The power of darkness will be destroyed. Because there is an anointing here tonight that breaks the yoke. Your time has come. My time has come. Look at Luke chapter 4. Luke chapter 4. I'm reading from verse 18. It said the spirit of the Lord is upon me. There is no past tense there. It's in the present tense. It's for today. It's for today. It's for tonight. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Gospel is good news. The good news is coming to you. And tonight the good news of deliverance has come to you. For the poor, you don't have to pay anything. For the poor, you don't have to offer anything. It's for the poor, you don't have to say, what am I going to give? We cannot buy this one. There's nobody that can buy this one. You come just as you are. With your pain, with your sickness, you don't have, you be with your infirmity, yeah, with the paralysis, yeah, me, with the blindness, yeah, you just come to the Lord and, and then we offer the prayer of deliverance for you. Yeah, and when you hear the final Amen, yeah, it will be done. Yeah, I said it will be done. Because he said the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the broken hearted. Whatever has happened in your life. That your heart is broken. The Lord will mend and heal that broken heart tonight. Whatever has happened in your family, that you're downcast, you're depressed, there's distress in your life. It's like, should I continue to live again? Cheer up, solution has come for your problem. Deliverance has come to those who are bound. Vibration has come. Redemption has come. Because it comes to heal the broken hearted. And then it says, Deliverance to the captives. I know. Who are from Nambuere Kong? Those who are in captivity, in the prison of the devil, in the dungeon of the devil, tonight deliverance has come to the captives and the recovering of sight to the blind and to search at liberty. And I see the Lord coming to your side right there. He says, Tonight I come to set you at liberty. Did you hear what I said? That Jesus is by your side there. Jesus said, I can And tonight he comes to set you at liberty. Free, you'll be free indeed. Free from sin. Free from sickness. Free from from evil spirits. Because whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be healed. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord will see wonders upon wonders tonight. Wonders upon wonders tonight. Salvation tonight. Night. Salvation tonight. It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed so and po. eyes closed. So tonight, you know, you need forgiveness for your sin. Tonight, you know, you need the ticket from the hand of Jesus to take you to heaven. 
know Jesus. Tonight, you know, you need the salvation that Jesus provided at the cross of Calvary. Tonight, you know that you are going to turn away from sin. And you are going to turn to the Savior. Tonight, you say, I want that salvation now. I want that salvation now. I want that salvation now. You will raise up your hand wherever you are. It's yours. It's yours. It's yours for the asking. It's yours for the claiming. He did it for you. And you make up your mind. You're turning away from your sin. You make up your mind. You're turning away from everything you sought to save you. If you're raising up your hand, you will stand up. I want that salvation. I want that salvation. I want that forgiveness. I want that transformation. I want that change of life. Wherever you are. You will stand up. You are sin up your hands. Jesus save me. Jesus me. Jesus forgive me. Jesus I turn away from my sin. And I turn to you because you are the only Savior. Wherever you are, you are raising up your hand. You stand up. As you stand up. As you stand up. As you stand up tell the Lord with your own voice. Tell the Lord with your own voice. Lord, I need you your salvation. Tell the Lord. Tell the Lord. Lord, I need your salvation. Lord, I want your salvation. Lord, I want you to take away my sin. Raise up your hand and stand up. And tell the Lord where you are right now. And say, Lord, salvation. Lord, forgiveness. Lord, eternal life. I need it now. I want it now. I believe. I believe. You died for me. On the cross of Calvary. I believe. You came to take my sins away. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender my sins unto you. I give up my sins unto you. I will not go back to those sins anymore. I will not go back to those sins anymore. I surrender myself to Christ. Be my Savior. Be my Savior. Be my savior. Grant me that eternal life right now. Give me that forgiveness right now. I believe that he has answered. Because he said, Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And you are that whosoever. Praise the Lord, thank you. Praise the Lord, thank you. Praise the Lord, thank you. I believe. I believe. I believe. He has taken my sins away. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus keep and let the people say amen. Lord, amen. Keep on standing and praying for you. So that I could come come Father, in the name of Jesus, Jesus. we thank you tonight. We you bless me. your name tonight. And we you glorify you. you. We know according to your promise, Mo which you cannot, you cannot fail. Me me you said whosoever so shall call on the name of the Lord. Lord shall be saved. All these who have raised up their hands, all these who have voluntarily given themselves unto Christ, all these who are looking away from their sin, and they're looking up to you as the Savior, I'm asking, Lord, you grant them forgiveness in Jesus' name. Grant them your salvation in Jesus' name. And let the Spirit of God be a witness in their hearts. All their sins are taken away. Confirm it in every life, Lord. The joy of salvation. The peace of salvation. The victory of salvation. Confirm it in every life. I thank you because I know it's done. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. Keep on standing, keep on standing, those who are standing. A state overseer will come now and lead us in this session of brief counseling. And then after that, shall come back and then your healing, your miracle, your deliverance, your signs and your wonders, 
you'll take before you go back home. And yeah, my friend, when you feel down, the the bank of Kano fi kubul mutwa ngwa for eri kofun kong ya. And yeah, my kubul me miso for young. Keep on standing. Don't go yet. Kuto te kan. Praise the Lord. Come here na basi. If you give your life to the Lord, don't sit down. Cast it by your side. They'll give you a slip of paper. You can write. You write your name in capital letters. If you cannot write, they are going to help you to write it. And if you have a phone, you give them their, your phone number. The phone numbers are 11 digits. Please. Give your correct name. Now that you are a child of God, you can't tell lies again because your life is transformed. You are now a new person in Christ. You have to speak the truth to those who are trying to cancel you, please. Cancel or write the name in capital letters. Write the phone numbers. Where the number phone. If the person has phone. And you write the home address of that person. Don't miss the local name the person is called in the I mean in the, in the village or in the town. Write it correctly so that when we get there we can be able to identify it easily. Write in capital letters. Let's be fast. Let's be very fast. Is a night that you'll never forget in your life. Is a night you remember all the day of your life. Raw miracle, you are going to see it. What you have not seen, you are going to see tonight. Counselor, are you true? Someone should signal me here, please. You are true. Praise the Lord. If you are there, you said, Praise the Lord. If you are expecting your wonder. Expecting your miracle. Expecting the signs and the wonder. Expecting that that sickness tonight will vanish away. The time has now come. Your time has come. What are you? My time has come. It's coming your way there. Remember, remember, he healed them all by his word. And the same word is coming to you now. The word of prayer and the word of power, the word of pronouncement. And once we finish the prayer and we say amen, when you hear that final amen. amen. You check up yourself. Don't let them the miracle would have been deposited there. Amen. Am I talking to somebody there? I said, Am I talking to somebody there? Miracle tonight. Healing tonight. Deliverance tonight. Whatever the problem is, you raise up your hand and you lay the other hand on yourself. Something is swollen there, lay your hand there. You brought somebody deaf and dumb, lay your hand on them. You are blind, lay your, lay your hands on your eyes. Somebody is lame, lay your hands there. Stroke, lay your hands there. Whatever the problem is, I sent for the word of power unto you now. And then when we say in Jesus name you say amen. Man do again Jesus for amen. That amen means so it is. Amen do what you had in dream. It means so let it be. Oh what you had in dream. And when we say the final final amen. Amen do what you had amen. Then you will open your eyes. Yeah yeah tiny info. You will see a yoguru song a miracle will be there. O tu bang bodo o do do figi dem. I can't hear Calabar amen. Yango amen to Calabar. 
raise up one hand and make the other hand where you have the challenge and the miracle is coming your way right now father in Jesus name we exalt you tonight we glorify you tonight we lift up the name of Jesus tonight and we know he's still the same yesterday today and forever we know that our God is a mighty God. A miracle walking God. A mountain removing God. And we know that he has not changed. He says I am God, I change not. I come on behalf of all your people tonight. And I am asking Lord tonight, heal them in Jesus name. That insanity, I command you right now. Spirit of madness, spirit of insanity, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. I pray for those who have any swelling in their body, swelling at the back, swelling in the neck, swelling in the tummy, swelling under the armpit, swelling in the feet. I command you, swelling, come out in Jesus' name. Jesus. I pray, Lord, for those who have any, any kind of cancer. Cancer, you are going to be healed tonight. I command that cancer be healed in Jesus' name. Also, be healed in Jesus' name. That is your blood dry up now in Jesus' name. HIV AIDS be healed in Jesus' name. What okay in Jesus? And here be removed in Jesus' name. It what okay in Jesus? I pray, oh Lord, for those who have any breathing a problem. Mother, take it away in Jesus' name. Mother, if you remain that more can get anywhere. No Something more walking okay about in, in your body. I but, command that thing that is walking about in the body. Come out in Jesus' name. Every attack of evil spirit. Every oppression of evil spirit. Every affliction of evil spirit. I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Lord, now I pray for those who are deaf and dumb. Those deaf ears, I command you, be opened in Jesus' name. Come, talk, speak out in Jesus' name. I pray for those who are blind. Blind eyes receive your sight. Darkness vanish away. Light come. Sight come. Vision come. Open their blind eyes in Jesus' name. I pray for those who have stroke. The power of God will come into your joints. Come in your muscles. Rise up and walk in Jesus' name. Those who have one leg shorter than the other. I command those short legs to grow out now in Jesus' name. Paralysis vanish away. Paralysis vanish away. Be healed. Be healed. Lord, I pray for everyone. To my right, to my left, in front of me at the back, anywhere you are hearing my voice now, miracle there. Healing there, deliverance there, signs and wonders there. Lord, let there be a confirmation right now. Thank you, Lord, because I know it is not. I know it is not. For him, for her, it is not. In Jesus' name, I pray. You got it. I said you got it. I said you got it. It's there. Check up yourself. You'll find that the miracle is there now. You're not blind anymore. Open your eyes and see. You're not lame anymore. Rise up and walk. And you don't have anything walking about your body. Now you're free. You are free. Healed. And when you see that healing, when you see that deliverance, let there be a shout of joy and praise the Lord over there. Check.
Check up, check up. Say them for. Once you see, shout, praise the Lord. We we'll join with you. Don't know the Hallelujah. Check up. Those in front, check up. Mom, kiss those those them at them the back, check up. Mom, can get them. Those on my left hand side, check up. Mom, you could feel it. Right hand side, check up. As you see what God has done for you, shall praise the Lord. We we'll with you. The words I was going to say, the words I have been given out. Then it's now time for confirmation. And then a song came in. Check up. See them for. The people at the back, check up there. Tomorrow, get them and see them before. Check up. I see them before. Check up. I see them before. Is the hour of miracle. In new time, the times of wonders has come. I can't believe going new time, but my right here. Check up. See them for. Yes, it has happened there. It has happened there. Bring the person out. Bring him or her out. That would have worried. He's suffering. Oh, God, the man. He's suffering there. God, the man. It's time for us to confirm. It's happening. It's happening up there. Check up. This way is also happening. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. If you are lame, rise up and walk. If you cannot hear, start to listen. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. I told you tonight. There will be rain or miracle. See the miracle. See the miracle. They are walking down. It's all over. It's all over. Check up. See them before. I say check up. They see them before. The man of God has prayed. Oh, what about you? Oh, he's suffering. Then God he's suffering. God to bear. He's suffering. God to bear. I told you it's going to be a rain of miracles. Man, no, he's suffering. He's suffering. Come, come, come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. It has happened. God It has happened. You can't go back the same. It's a night of joy. Check up. Check up. Say them for. Check up. Say them for. You can't go back the same. If you cannot walk, just rise up and walk. Check up. It's happening there. It's happening there. But It's a night of miracle. Check up. And see them if you need to go to the toilet to check up, you can go to the toilet to check up. God has done it. And we want to rejoice with you. Come out. Our overseers, please, our original overseers, please get out and get involved in the council of those who are coming up, please. Ah, wonderful. Lift it up, let us see very well. My name is Acham Evelyn. I had an accident for four years today. I cannot walk, but God has made it possible for me to walk today in Jesus' name. Put your hands together for Jesus. Can you know more? Is why now I am here. Come on, let us pray. 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 Healed. You have received a miracle, and that miracle will be permanent in Jesus' name. The next is fire, please. Tell us your name. And what the Lord has done for you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. My name is Faith Okun. I worship with uh, Nantara District. Over a month now, I just woke up one day and something was protruding out of my right eye. Every day it was growing bigger. So this night, this evening when I came, I just told God, if you do this thing for me, I'm going to give testimony. When the pastor was praying and he said, every kind of swelling, vanish away. As in, I just looked, I touched the plate. I was touching the boil when they prayed. After the prayers, I did not see the boil again. I was shivering. I told the lady, put your hand together for Jesus. Eye. Are you seeing anything? She said, no. Praise the Lord. The boy is gone. Amen. The swollen is gone. That's the doing of the Lord. And the Lord has done it for her. That same God will do it for you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. My name is Grace Efion Okun. I'm in Ekaikon uh, district. I want to testify the thing that God has done for me this night. I was having chest pain for more than five years now. I took medicine here and there. There was nothing done about. But today, as a man of pain, so we should touch the place that we have our problems. I was counseling people there. I see they pour me cold water. Inside my chest. Some oh, I received my healing. Amen. Praise 
the Lord. Just praise God. Praise the living God. Just praise God. Put your hands together for Jesus. Interpret for them. She had just praying for over five years. Tonight is gone. Check up your own. Check up what the Lord has done for you. Check it up. You see what the Lord has done for you. Praise Next the Lord. My name is Agbonimusula Joshua. I'm from Obudidis region. I was having boil in my lab for the past three days now. I can't even carry my leg up. So as I came here, the man of God said, when they say the final amen, you should believe and God will do it for you. So as I was standing, the man of God was praying. I laid my hand where the boy was. As the final amen was shout, I just felt like something left me. Amen. I can't even carry the leg up, but now I can carry the leg up. No, you, have you seen up. him? Look at him. Praise amen. The Lord. amen. Thank you, sir. God bless you. God bless you. God has done for you. Jesus. He could not walk, but tonight he's going back a free man. Jacob, praise the Lord Jesus. Brothers and sisters, I'm happy now as I'm here now because for about nine months I'm suffering for this waist pain. I'm coming from Bekwara. My name is Tom Osegim. So my waist, I so much poison inside the farm at the western part so i cannot walk for more than th th three months i lay down but coming here today now i see that i can turn turn let's see let's see turn that way turn it turn it put your hand together for jesus the lord is good my brother yes. go in the joy of your healing nine months with pain gone Check up. I want you to check up. I want to check up. If you brought a paralyzed person, rise, take Praise that person up. Lord. You see what the Lord will do for that person. My name is Shoma. I live at uh, number five, uh, Ephraim, Henshaw Street, at Timbo. When I was coming here, I was okay. But when I entered this arena, I started having this uh, stomach, serious stomach ache which I have been experiencing a long time ago, and also with heartburn. And when it starts, I can't breathe well. But after the prayer, I'm very sound. Why I say that I'm sound is that if it starts, it takes a very long time for the thing to stop. But today, it didn't take that much long before it stopped. Praise the Lord. So God, Jesus are giving you a technical knockout. You are perfectly made whole in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you brought somebody who's blind, Check up. God has touched that individual. If you want somebody who's lame, take that person up. You see if starting to work. Don't go back without getting that experience tonight. Because the prayer I've been offered is now time to satisfy about it. Go ahead. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Friday Kabasi from uh, Ehom Evia community in Biase. I am my friend. His name is uh, Blackie. We came and visit my brother at Calabaye. So we had an accident. They took us to hospital. Before I should know what, is ha what happened, the guy died. So I thank God for my life. I am alive today. That's why I say, let me come and What has I God done for you? What, what has the Lord Jesus done for you? What has he done? The Lord saved my life and he healed me because I have a, a broken hand. So now I can I can do it I can do it something. Look at him. Doing. Look at the demonstrating there. God has healed his arm, and that healing will remain permanently in the name of Jesus Christ. If you want to clap, put your hands up for the Lord. Take your hands up. Then I will give you a wave. I will give you a wave. And you call your name. I say, "Oh, come on, we're going to Jesus Christ." Put your hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. My name is Abraham. Abraham John, I am living at Acom State. I, I thank God for since four years now, I have an as, access in my leg, but before the pastor pray now, the access roll away. Amen. The access is gone and it will never come back to you in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> 
Jesus Christ. Next is fire. Praise the Lord. My name is Wisdom. I'm living at Ecom. Since last year, I've been having a serious chest problem. Certain period of time, my chest and my whole body becoming stiff. It happened to me in the bus when we were coming. And when I entered the stadium, it happened to me. It reduced. When the chest was ministering, my chest reduced, but my whole body was well, in my head, they were pounding it. But during, after the prayer, my, I see my whole head just cooled, my body, all the pressure relieved me. Praise the Lord. All that pressure, that pain, everything is gone, gone, gone forever. I can you be said, it is not me. I can't come, I can't wait on you. You may be on your record, over on Jesus. That's the fire. Praise the Lord. My name is Ifan Yopara. I'm living at Lemna, at Kalabahia. My test fire is what God has done for me about chest pain. Over three or four years, I have seeken about this chest pain, taking drugs, no way. But after the papa pray finish, I'm hearing. So I said, may God be the Jesus name. Your chest pain is gone, never yes, to come back again in the name of Jesus Christ. We are asked this way now. How could you go to your me? Over on you in Jesus. Next is fire. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Mr. Kelecho Kechuku. I live at number 22 Hall Street. I have this sickness I've been battling about since three months time now. It's called migraine headache. At times I do, it do treat me as if I'm going mad. If it started now, I won't even know myself again. But as soon as the man of God pray, the particular symptom that was going now that was going around then disappeared. Amen. So I got my healing instantly now. Praise the Lord. The symptom disappeared, everything gone. You'll never see again your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I got some coming. In Boston, I keep it. Go, come to me. Devil, now come. Oh, pray. Can you Jesus? Praise the living God. My name is God Spring Moses. I live at the top of the police barrack. Last night, after I finished my prayer, I was having this severe head to my eyes, which I could not be able to bend down my head or do anything. So when I woke up this morning, I will remember that Daddy was coming to Calabar today. And I said, okay, if this thing will continue till this evening, there is nothing that will make it to cross over to tomorrow morning. Amen. When the rain started, a friend of mine said, this is your sickness. is going to last till whenever I decide that it will stop. I told him that, whether they didn't like it or not, when daddy comes, that is a man that God honors his word. Immediately he arrives, Calabar, the rain will stop, and I will go for that program. When I entered here, I was still feeling it. Even when he said we should bow down our head in prayers, I tried to bow down my head. It was very, very painful, so I couldn't bow down my head. I raised up my face. When he said, place your hand when I, wherever you're having the pains, I placed up my hand on my forehead. Immediately he started praying. Before he said his own, Amen. I tried to bow down my head. It was as if I was feeling no pains. No, I said, nothing was happening to me. I said, may the name of the Lord be praised. Daddy, I appreciate you. Oh, put your hand together for Jesus. Yeah,